Hello everyone, welcome back. Okay, so today, um, it's a little late, but, oh, I will be redecorating just to see how I like things, you know, move stuff around, get it situated, get it settled. Today I want to talk about something really, really, really important. And I'm going to grab my notes just to make sure I have everything. I noticed that whenever it comes to a lot of people coming to this path from whatever path they're on, the very first thing that they kind of want to do is grab all the tools and the items that look really, really cool, such as like all the spell books, maybe a wand, crystals, decks, I don't know, maybe printouts, just anything that they feel represents something witchy, uh, but they're all beginners to it. So like, it's like spending a lot of money, but not knowing what to do with any of the items that they bought or have. Uh, and I actually would advise against that. I think that if somebody is a beginner, the very first most important thing they need to do is visualize. Why is visualization so important? Well, it's because it is the basis of all of your magic, all of your intent, all of your petition writing. It is the basis of it. If you want something to happen, the very first thing you do is you think about it. You put it in your mind's eye. You say to yourself, well, I want this to happen. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but this is what I want and this is what I like. And your mind automatically comes up with a a situation, a scene that it thinks best fits your scenario. So that's why visualization is so important. You want to enhance your visualization before you <clears throat> excuse me, before you go out and do anything else because without that visual visualization, what do you have? And I don't want to sound uh, mean or rude to anybody. Everybody thinks differently and everybody comes to this path from different, 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 different places. But all I know is that the basis of my magic, of our magic, of the universe's magic is visualizing, is putting the image in your brain out in the universe. And another big thing that visualization is associated with is manifestation. Visualization is the first step in manifesting whatever it is that you like. I'm sorry, that's my dog. So what is visualization? I'm just gonna go ahead and let it bark, I'm sorry. <laughs> So what is visualization? Visualization is a very unique way of seeing the world through your eyes. No one, no one on earth is able to see what you see. It's all unique to you. And that's why it's so important, especially when you're, especially if you're a beginner and you're coming onto this path. Visualization is a way that you see your life it's a way that you see certain situations. It's the way that you see your circumstances. It's all of those wrapped in one. You're visualizing it, you're imagining it. Well, you can't imagine reality, but you're seeing stuff through your eyes. You visualize your vision. It's through your eyesight, you see. Um, so it's really important to enhance this one tiny little aspect that you have full control over before you end up going into any other magical task. So I'm going to help you do that. At least I hope I'm gonna help you do that. I hope you find these tips helpful. Okay, so before you do anything, before you pay for the magical items, and before you start doing the spell work and the intention and the goal setting, just put, put down your pen, put down your paper, calm down, relax, let's, let's, let's all come into a state of relaxation. Let's breathe, let's breathe, let's come into a state of relaxation. Let's ground ourselves. I hope that a lot of you have already known about grounding. It's a way to connect to the earth. It's a way to kind of like balance out your energy before you even like start to do anything. You ground yourself, you come back to the ground, put your feet on the ground. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is obviously practice. Practice, practice, practice. We all have heard that practice makes perfect. If you're not really good at seeing things, if you're not really good at visualize things, then you need to make sure that you're practicing in order to get better at it. So that your intentions and your goal settings, they, they come true in the way that you actually visualize them to come true. So it, you, there's so many ways that you can practice, so many different times that you can practice. Let's say you're at work and you get a 30 minute break for your lunch. Let's say you're eating your lunch, you close your eyes for five minutes and you visualize, let's say dessert. Let's say that you want a dessert. You ground yourself, you come back to reality, you 
you settle down, you, you balance your energy, you calm your energy. And then you think, you allow your mind to visualize those desserts, whatever, maybe it has a cherry on top, maybe it has whipped cream on top, whatever it is to you, you can visualize it in that moment. And it doesn't have to be a super, super long process. You can only do it for, let's say two minutes if you want, let's say five minutes if you want at a time. But just know that the more that you practice visualization, the better it will get and the more you will enhance it. Um, within your own mind's eye. The second thing that's gonna help you enhance your visualization is the detail that you put in it. Now, detailing is very important, but let's say we're all beginners at this. Where do you start when it comes to detail? Well, you start with the smaller things, stuff that doesn't really take a lot to you know, think of. Maybe you think of just a circle. Okay, okay. How big is your circle? What color is your circle? Visualize it. Do you like the circle? Is this circle associated with anything else, such as maybe it's a basketball? Can you visualize the lines of the basketball? Maybe it's a dodgeball or a kickball, whatever they call it these days. Can you visualize the little texture ripples on the basket or on the um, on the dodgeball? Can you do that? And if so, your visualization um, will start to get stronger and stronger. Well, I remember. Um, what this dodgeball looked like when I was a kid. It was like a really nice brick kind of color. I remember the texture on it. I remember there used to be this little tiny indent of a, maybe like a stamp, like a white st trademark sign on it, whatever. Let's be simple. Let's start off small and then we could grow big. Start small and then grow big. Now, if you're a fast learner and you're like, okay, whatever. I practice, I visualize it. What's the next step? What's the next step? Okay, well, you take your visualization and your detail and you just add more and more and more. Maybe this takes you months to figure out. Maybe this takes you years to figure out. Either or, it's all specific to you. You have to know yourself but it's important to practice and then to add your detail. Now, if you get done with the simple details, increase the amount of details. Now, now instead of thinking of a circle, let's say you're thinking of a purse, maybe you have a bag. What kind of design is it? What shape is it? Does it have a handle? Does it have a lock? Does it have zippers? How many pockets are inside of it? Can you, my cat, can you visualize it? Can you visualize your purse, your bag? And if that's, if that's enough for you, you know, like you're like, whatever, got it, bing, bam, Buddha, done, whatever. I've said that saying completely wrong, but yeah, I'm sorry. Continue to add more detail. Continue to add more detail. Okay, okay, so your purse, you got it. Now, can you visualize you, your face? Can you say, hey, I know what my eyebrows look like. I know what my nose look like. looks like. I know what my eyelashes look like. I know that I have a little tiny, like, pimple here maybe or I know that I know that's kind of gross I'm sorry but maybe you do may or maybe it's like oh I know how wide my mouth is or I know how high my cheekbones are or I know how obvious my chin is like you know maybe maybe you don't know your face as well as you think you know your face this is a very good one to practice um, not only is it you visualizing yourself but you're becoming more aware of yourself and since our magic is all about us, for the most part, um, it's really important to get inside of yourself, but that's another video. We're talking about visualization here. So stay focused, visualize, I'm sorry. So let's say you, you, you completely get your, your facial structure done. You know your, what your face looks like. You look at it all the time. You, you mastered it. Let's go to your whole body now. Okay, let's go to your whole, your whole body. Are there little, little dots somewhere that, maybe there's a scar somewhere. I think I have a scar like right there. That's something something that's small on your, lar on, the, on your entire frame. Do you remember it? What does it look like? Okay. So it's really good to add on to the detail. And that is like the very bulk of visualization because your visualization is gonna be how much detail you can put into, the, into, um, into what you're doing into your intent, to your goal, and into your spells. So let's say maybe you're done visualizing your body and every part and every piece of your body and maybe your skin tone and maybe where the skin tone changes. Maybe you're done with all of that and you wanna move on to bigger, better things. Then you can start challenging your, your mind, your visualization by thinking of things like, okay, well, what does the Eiffel Tower look like? And don't look at a photo, just visualize it first. Visualize it and see how close you are to it. Okay, well, what does the, what does my local park sign look like? Visualize it, think about it. Those are ways that you can challenge 
challenge the your imagery, the the way that you process things, your vision. Those are things that, that those are ways that you challenge it, and those are ways that you can enhance it. And uh, another way, you can also meditate on it. I know a lot of people do meditation, or there are some witches out there that don't even like meditation. Maybe you don't like to meditate, or maybe you just meditate in a different way. Meditation, or I personally think the goal of meditation is just to get you to be in a sort of like a trance where you're not focused on any of the outside energy or vibrations. You're focused on yourself, you're focused on why you're here. Maybe it's silent in your mind, maybe it's clear, or maybe it's super fast paced, maybe you're at the gym, maybe you're working out, you know how you lose yourself? I think that is kind of the main goal of meditation. So if you don't like regular meditation, you can meditate in all other ways. Now, um, if you're meditating and visualizing, then that sort of trance where you're kind of focused on something and not worried about all the outside energies, that gets enhanced because now you're thinking, okay, well, maybe you're at the gym. Maybe you're at the gym and you're going really hardcore. You're like on a little bicycle thing. Maybe you start to visualize while you're on the bicycle. Maybe you visualize yourself on a trail. What does your trail look like? Where does it go through? Does it have lots of waves? Does it go up hills? What is it? What, is it? what does it look like? So if you are a normal meditation person like how I am, I really like the silence, um, then you can just sit still, sit within yourself, and you can visualize your happy place. Maybe you're at the beach. Maybe you're at home. Maybe there's a home in a cottage far away that you wish you could be in. Maybe you're a fairy. Like just visualize those things and um, make sure that you're in this kind of trance-like state um, so that you can focus. I think a better word or maybe more of a universal word would be focus on, the, on your visualization. Focus on really what you're doing and what you're thinking about, why you're thinking about it, what does it look like, the detail of it, etc. So in the end, once you've practiced, once you've added your detail, once you progress from a beginner visualizer to an extremely advanced visualizer, and once you've meditated or focused on your visualization, those are three ways that you can really enhance it. Three ways that you can get better at it. And this is really gonna help you whenever you're doing your goal setting, intention setting, spell work, whatever you wanna call it. It's really gonna help you because now, now you have the most important tool when it comes to manifesting. You can first put it in your mind's eye, think about it in detail and project it out. So if you would like to practice with me right here, right now, um, I would love to have you stay, stick around a little bit, if, if not, I am Eli and I will see you next time. Okay, so if you wanna practice with me, um, I want you to get in a really comfortable spot. I want you to get in a really nice place. If you want, you can pause this and set up. Maybe you like a setup kind of similar to mine, whatever it is, just get into a nice place that you want to visualize in. Okay, then next, don't forget to ground yourself, relax your energy. If you have a safe space or you have a sacred place, uh, you can, at this point, would be the best point to either put down your salt, your protection salts, if you like. Um, you know, I recommend it, you know, why not? Why not have that little protection that's around you? Maybe you wanna just burn a candle, maybe that makes you feel protected. Maybe so, so go ahead and get that ready, okay? Okay, and so once you have the spot, the place, and you're ready, close your eyes and you focus. Let's start with a circle, since you're a beginner, since we're beginners here. Let's start with just visualizing a circle. Okay, what does this circle look like? Think about the color of the circle. Think about the background. Maybe it's just a blank background. Maybe it's a vibrant color background. But let's keep it simple since we're beginning. Think about your circle. How did you create this circle? Who drew it? Did you draw it? It's at this point where you can start to, where you do start to enhance your visualization, your visuals, your, your visions, okay? So let's add a little bit more detail. Is your hands on the ball? 
Or is it a ball? Where are you? Are you holding it? Are you throwing it to somebody? Are you sitting on it? What is it in your mind's eye? And from this place, you can move forward. So if you want, like you can say, okay, I'm done visualizing. I've got the detail. I've got what I need it, girl. I'm done, all right? And you can sign off. Go ahead and close up your sacred space. However you close up your space, do what you gotta do. But I want to do a different practice. This is a really good practice to do for those who are beginners, who are um, beginning to maybe set up a sacred circle and to protect yourself. This is a really good one that I started with and one that I've got really good with. So, so much so to the point where if I need that protection circle, um, I can, in my mind's eye, I can visualize it and it's, it's beaming off of me, okay? So this is the, the good part about um, wanting to enhance your visualization, okay? So you find your sacred space, you ground yourself, you focus. Okay, now you start with a little tiny ball of flame. Maybe it's at your heart. Maybe it's where your solar chakra is. That's for, that's for you to decide. You decide that. Where is it? Where does this ball of energy start? What does it look like? What, what color is it? The same as before. And then just think about it somehow expanding and filling you up. Think about how protected you feel. Think about how protected you want to be. And at this point, you can add. You can add to the detail. What is an animal that you associate with being a protector? What object do you associate with being a protector? This is the, we're, we're doing the energy. We're doing a protection energy. So your energy, your energy can transform into anything that you feel best. Maybe you want to keep it as a ball. Maybe you want to turn it into a square. Maybe you want to turn it into a triangle. Whatever, it's up to you. So with that energy, that protection energy, imagine that it gets stronger and it forms into whatever you want to visualize. Okay? And we're imagining it again. Imagine it again. Okay? Now imagine it expanding off of you. Now imagine the room is feel filled of other protective objects. Maybe for you, a protective animal shows up. So maybe instead of one lion, there's three lions. Three, the Holy Trinity. Okay? Maybe it's like that for you. Maybe it's just one. One single strong unit. Maybe it's an angel. Whatever this energy is, you can transform it into being a protective energy for your spiritual body, for your physical body, etc. So once you've had all this time to um, think about your ball of energy, remember to always use it prior to maybe starting any type of work. Sorry for the AC, I'm sorry. But remember to think about it whenever you start to do any type of work. So prior, you think about your energy field, you think about your, your, your protection field, um, it's coming off of you, your sacred space is protected. And now, if you want to use the wand to, you know, draw out anything that you feel, that, that energy, that you can, you can do that. Most people use the wand as extension of the energy if that makes sense, if you understand that. Uh, but that's a different video. So once you've done that, once you've done that, once you've imagined your protective field and your protective energy, you can use it or you can call to it whenever you kind of don't feel protected. Whenever maybe you're in a situation that you don't really feel comfortable in, of course you need to get out of that situation, whatever situation it is, you know, you need to do what you have to do. But if you feel like maybe it's a spiritual thing, maybe you, uh, Maybe it's anxiety, something as simple as anxiety, and you just want to protect your little heart. Maybe you just, maybe you're just so nervous, and you don't really want to be that nervous. Just, just imagining that protective field over you, that love, that protection. Um, if it, you can also do love energy or cheerful energy or happiness energy. I just prefer the protection since it's, uh, you know, a very important thing to have, especially when you're coming to this kind of thing, uh, this kind of path. So let's say you're very anxious and you, you have that ball. You, you close your eyes, you get, you get in your mood, you, you think about it, you think about it, you have your protection field on you. So whenever you're doing the thing that makes you anxious, like maybe you're giving a speech, you imagine that protective shield just coming off of you. And you're like, you know what, no matter what happens after this event, I am protected and you know, that makes me feel good. Or you know, it, it can be any situation like that. 
So once you're done uh, visualizing, make sure to close up your sacred space however you close it up. Close up shop, thank the universe, thank your guides, thank um, maybe your ancestors if you work with them. Whatever you do, maybe pray to God, you know, maybe that maybe that's what you want to do. You can do that. Just make sure to thank, thank everything. You just used energy for the first time. You used energy, you used visualization, and you know how to enhance it. So thank the universe that you have, you know, that you've completed this. Close up shop and you're done. It feels really good to have that type of like strong visualization because you know you, you can rely on it. No one can take your imagination away from you. No one can take your visualization, your visions away from you. No one can take that away from you. So it's always going to be yours. So the more you practice, the more you practice, the more you practice, the better you feel, and the more you can enhance your visions. The better your intentions will be. The better your goals will be. Okay? So, don't forget, wait, let me see if I got any more notes. That's pretty much everything. So, don't forget that at the end of the day, yes, doing the spell work, doing spells is cool. Yes, getting the books are cool. Yes, getting the wands are cool. It's, it's, it's cool, it's, you know, have your little witchy stuff on the side. But don't forget the importance of visualizing. Don't forget that this is um, something really beautiful and really sacred to us, to us women and men, to us people, to us humans, to us magical beings, okay? Especially if you're on this path. It's really, really important to enhance this, okay? It's very easy to enhance this and, you know, the sky's the limit when it comes to visions and visualization. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking. I've been rambling on. Oh, this video is getting pretty long. I'm sorry. I just, I just, vision, visualization is really important, so I just really wanted to come home with that. Okay, well, I hope this helped. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, you can go ahead and hit the like button. If not, you can hit the dislike button. Either or, I would love to, to I would love your feedback on this. Also, if you're watching this, no matter what time or day or when, I would love to think about, or I would love to hear, what did you visualize? What was something that you visioned? What was your animal? Or what was your guide or your angel or your object? What was it? You can comment that down below at any time. Um, yes, so okay, that's everything. That is everything. <sighs> I feel great, I feel great. I hope you feel great, I hope you feel lovely. Thank you so much for watching. Remember that I am Eli and I will see you next time.